compaction is something you can never eliminate on your farm, but you can certainly reduce it. So you already know many of the factors that it's going to take. Yes, you should probably lower your tire pressure or use tracks. Yes, you should stay out of the field as much as you can when the ground is wet. So you do those couple of things and that's gonna solve a lot of your problems. Certainly drain tile absolutely helps, but today we wanna focus on maybe a couple other things that you haven't necessarily thought a lot about. The first is calcium. The second would be soil organic matter. Well, calcium, let's talk about that for a second because it's not just calcium, it's also magnesium. If you get that balance off a little bit, and you may have heard a lot about, well, you need this calcium to magnesium ratio in your soil. What I look at is base saturation. I'd like to see that calcium percentage in the 65 to 75 percent range. I'd like to see that magnesium base saturation percentage down in the 12 to 20 percent range. And honestly, we've got fairly heavy soil here. I'd like to see it down 12 to 14 percent on our particular farm. But when you get those things in line, what happens is calcium is a big molecule and calcium also helps your soil porosity. With magnesium, it's a very small molecule and it causes problems in your soil where they get tighter and they get stickier and they don't dry out as quick. And on our farm, what we've found over the years and on many other farms, the same thing, high magnesium percentage, low calcium percentage leads to a better chance that you're gonna have compacted areas out in your field, especially with that first pass through the field in the spring. The next thing is soil organic matter. Basically, the more organic matter you have in your soil, the more your soil kind of acts like a sponge. It can take water in and, and release water. It will not compact as easily if you have more organic matter. So ideally, I'd love to have 5%, maybe even 7% organic matter. But if you say, oh, I'm at 2%, Brian, I'm never gonna get to five. You know what? Even if you get to 3% and you're at two today, that's a 50% increase in soil organic matter. That means your chance for soil compaction is gonna go down a lot. The most common way that compaction is dealt with on farms is with tillage. So let's talk about this for just a little bit. Vary the tillage depth on your farm. This is a piece of advice that you'll hear and you may be wondering why. Well, if you're always tilling at six inches, what happens is you end up with a hard pan at six inches and it may be nice and fluffy on top of the soil and easy to work with, but just do a little digging on your farm. And if I go on almost any farm right now, I can tell you, well, you're probably running your disc at this depth. You're probably running your field cultivator at this depth. Well, how do you know that? Because I can find those layers in your soil and you can too. So make sure you're varying things on your farm with how deep you're going. Then which tillage pass do you choose? Which tillage implement do you choose? We really like strip till. That's been nice. When we leave some undisturbed soil that stays a little firmer for us to drive on, that's great. And then we can do some deeper tillage. Maybe we go down six inches, 10 inches deep, depending on what we're dealing with in our soils, right where we're going to place our seed and place our fertility. That's been great. It allows our root system to go right down. We don't have to worry about compaction in those zones. The other thing that we may talk about is zone building, where we're using a straight shank on a 30 inch spacing on our farm and we'll go out. We only have to do this very infrequently on our farm but if we do have a big wide-scale compaction issue doing some zone building with that straight shank has been important we're just cutting a slice down through that compacted zone and we can get down as deep as 20 inches with the machine we're using that's been nice on our farm then we leave undisturbed strips in between that every 30 inches I mentioned we'd have a shank we can drive through the field next spring no problem yet we've broken through that compacted zone and allowed our root system to get it down. Once again, you're never going to eliminate compaction, but do the best on your farm you can to reduce it for higher yields and greater profits. Another thing you'll need if you want greater profits is controlling our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how coming up next.